Hi guys, it's Sophie. So I'm going to be doing a like, TBR update video today and a little bit of a mini haul um, just to show you what I've got recently. Um, you guys, if you've been around for a while, know that I try and keep a really small TBR and I've got a pretty small TBR right now. Um, we're moving soon so I'm not keen to have loads and loads of books that I haven't read that I need to move around and identify so I'm trying to keep like a smallish selection. So I'll go through, I'll go through the ones I'm reading or have read some of first. So the book that I'm currently reading is Black Car Burning by Helen Mort and this is a book about lots of different things like um, immigrant populations, um, community support policing, polyamory, climbing, lesbians, um, all sorts um, and I'm really enjoying it. It's also set in the north which is fun and I don't know anything about climbing so I'm enjoying like learning about climbing in a way, in a weird way. I think I, it's just because I don't know anything about it so I'm kind of intrigued. Um, I never particularly want to go climbing I don't think. Um, but yeah, so that's the one to start reading in a minute. And then I started and kind of stumbled at about page 100 on The Gospel According to Jesus Christ by Jose Saramago. Um, I will go back to this one at some stage. I think the story just lost a bit of like narrative flow in the middle. Um, but I'm hoping it's gonna like come back again. I really like his writing, um, but I think I just got a bit put off. So I'm gonna wait a little while before I pick this one up again. And then the next one I'm midway through is Against Interpretation by Susan Sontag. Um, and this is the one I was reading throughout my reading vlog, if you've seen that one. Um, and yeah, probably like halfway, halfway through. Um, I will keep going, I just need to like read little essays at a time and we're going to chill out here today and probably do the same tomorrow. So I might pick up some more Susan Sontag um, in between Black Car Burning. And then I've started this one and I'm just not really getting on with it. Um, I might try and go back to it again or I might do an effort and, and get rid of it. And um, that's Excavation by Wendy C. Ortez. And this is a memoir about uh, her experience being kind of groomed by a teacher at her school. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is, I'm not really getting on with in this. I don't know if it's just the writing. Um, but I really didn't get very far, I got to page 50, um, which is normally my like, if I'm not liking it, I get rid. Um, but again, I might give it another go. It's kind of similar um, with the Gospel according to Jesus Christ. I think I need to leave it a little while and then give it another shot. Um, so those are the ones I'm midway through. And the next one I have I haven't started yet and that is An Interrupted Life, the Diaries and Letters of Etty Hilson, 1941 to 1943. Um, I don't think I've ever read a collection of diaries, um, so that'll be quite interesting to get to when I do. Um, I don't know when the right time is to read this because it's like um, World War content and I'm still a little bit hungover from that, from my Around the World Challenge and reading Europe. Um, I don't know whether it's better to like have this a bit like a non-fiction I read through with other things rather than try to read it in one go because when I've read some like edited diary entries in books before um, I found I don't like reading them all just in one go and I know some people find with letters or diary entries that they do better reading just a little bit every day almost like you would if you were writing the diary and um, so if you guys do read this kind of content let me know what works best for you. And I've got two short story collections. The first is Sour Heart by Jenny Zhang and this is the one I'm reading for my In Real Life book club um, for May so I need to get on this one soon. Um, it's about a group of immigrants um, in the 1990s New York and uh, they are short stories so yes this is our next pick. I don't really know that much about it um, but I remember it was quite big when it did come out. Um, I remember seeing lots of people reading it and, and taking pictures of it. Um, so we'll see how I get on. Next one I have is one I got for my birthday and that is Baby and Other Stories by Paula Boma. Um, and this is like very much realist short stories that are like unpleasant. Um, so I, you know, that's my bag. Um, but again, I don't know that I want to pick this one up quite yet. So I'm going to keep hold of it and see when the mood strikes me. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of pressure on me to read this one, though I'd like to read it before we move. I'd like to try and read all the ones I have with me now before we move, I think. Um, should be doable, I've still got like two months left, um, so I just need to make sure I like, I'm reading some of the backlist ones as well. And then the next one I have is another one I got for my birthday, and this is one of the ones I don't know anything about really. This was a recommendation um, from someone on Twitter, and I, yeah, I was like, yeah, screw it, I'll, I, will, I will get. Um, and that is The Woman's Room by Carolyn French and I really don't know anything about this at all other than I think it's like feministy. It's quite fact which is why I haven't started it yet. Um, so again it's kind of the same as Baby, like I definitely want to read it but I've not had like the push to read it as of yet. Um, so hold on to and then I'm going to try and like make sure to read these as I say before I, before I do move. And then the four new ones that I have, um, there's two that I picked up today but I'll go through the other two that I've bought more recently, uh, sorry, less recently than that first. Um, so the first is The Faculty of Dreams by Sarah Streisenberg and this is a book about a woman who tried to assass assassinate Andy Warhol um, and yeah, it, 
I think this is Diaries as well. Diaries and Imagined Conversations. I'm so excited for this one. I think this was either the Women's Prize or the Man Booker. Yeah, no, I think there's a Man Booker International and it was the one that stood out to me the most. So I'm dying to get into this one. Um, I might kind of set at the end of this like what I think my TBR should be for May. I think that could be quite helpful. Um, but this is one I want to like read straight away. The next one that I have is White Shadow by Roy Jacobson. And this, actually I didn't know this, but this is a sequel and this is very exciting because literary fiction doesn't really have sequels. Um, but this is the second book in The Unseen, which is the first novel that he wrote about this family in this really deserted island in Norway. Um, again, absolutely dying to read it. Um, this one gets to the point of the German occupation of the islands, um, just at the very end of the last book we got there. So yeah, just looking forward to going back into this family story and finding out what happens. I really hope you keep writing them up to present day, that would be perfect. Um, yeah, really excited to have a sequel. It's so rare to have a sequel when you're reading, like, not genre fiction. So yeah, dying to read that one. And then there are two that I bought today. Um, and the first of those is The Western Wind by Samantha Harvey. Um, this is one that Tom and I are going to try and read together. We are looking at like branching out into genres that maybe we wouldn't both like naturally pick up to see if we both can kind of meet each other in the middle. Um, I was listening to a podcast called What Should I Read Next, which I've been really enjoying. And I did an episode with um, the couple who do he, Sh he Read, She Read, talking about their reading together and their reading apart. And that's what she kind of recommended for them was to choose some books that like met genre-wise somewhere in the middle. Um, so this one is a murder mystery set in Somerset, which is where I live, which is very exciting because we don't normally get many books set um, in the West Country. Um, and it's in, set in the 15th century as well, so it's historical fiction and murder mystery, which isn't my normal jam. It's not Tom's either, but I think um, we're both going to give it a go and see if we can discuss something. Um, it's been really nice that Tom's been reading some Dave Eggers because I've read them too, and even though the one he's reading now I read a long time ago, so I can't remember all the detail, it's really nice to be able to share some share some thoughts or feelings about books that we've both read, it's really rare for us, so really been enjoying that. And then the last one that I have is a Dave Eggers, um, and after I spoke about it in the last video, I was like, actually I want to go and buy this, and I saw it and was like, ah ha and it's a heartbreaking work of Staggering Genius, which is his um, non-fiction memoir about his, ma his mum and her dying, and I don't know if his dad is also, if he lo also lost his dad, um, I've, I've always wanted to read this one um, and just haven't gotten around to picking it up and I think because I've kind of had this like Dave Eggers feel with Tom reading it and with me reading it I wanted to um, pick it up and see how I get on. Um, it, from the very beginning there's lots of like strange little fun things like prefaces and rules and suggestions for reading the book and yeah I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this. I've heard really good things as well. So. Yes, that's the last one on my TBR. So I have 12 books in total that I own and have yet to read, which I think is really quite good. I like having it like lower than 20. That's my safe kind of space. And I think when I get down to like five, I get a little bit panicky because then my choice goes away. So sort of like 10 to 20 is my ideal. Um, and I'm gonna try and choose a TBR uh, for what I'm gonna read in May. Um, I might not stick to it 100%, but I thought that could be helpful to get a mix of the older ones and the newer ones I just bought. Okay, so the easy ones are Black Car Burning because I'm currently reading this one. Um, so that one, I'm definitely gonna get my way through. And the next one that's easy is Sour Heart by Jenny, Jenny Zhang because I have to read this one by the end of May. Um, so that's two, and I think I'm gonna choose six books to put my TBR as like my tentative TBR. Um, so there's two. I think I'm going to have one more shot at ex excavation and decide whether or not I want to keep reading it. Um, because I, at where I am now, I really don't, but I want to give it like one more go. So I think I'm going to read up to page 100 of this one and then see if I want to DNF or carry on. And then I really want to start The Faculty of Dreams and I feel like I'm going to feel bad if I can't start it soon. So I'm putting The Faculty of Dreams on for book number four. And then I think I'd also like to put Baby on the list um, because it is quite short. It's 170 pages and short stories I haven't got short story apart from the Jenny Zhang which I feel like I'll probably read quite quick um, so I'm going to put Baby on there as well and see how I got on with it. I think I'm tempted to put on the Susan Sontag and try and like work my way through some more of this but maybe not finish it I'm kind of cool with it if I go a bit slower with the Susan Sontag um, so I think I might put her on but then I'm going to put one more on because I don't know that I'll necessarily finish the Susan Sontag um, and I think ooh, I think I'm going to put the Western Wind on because Tom and I are both going to read this and it would be good if I um, was able to get through it and then pass it on to him. Um, so I think I'm going to put this one on and that's a little bit like, it makes me a little bit nervous just because it's not my usual fare but yeah, I'm excited to see if we both enjoy it. Okay, so that leaves me with this little pile as a TBR for May. 
It's quite exciting. There's some stuff in there that's a couple of ones in there that are a little bit older and then some ones I'm really excited about or have just bought, which was like a good mix. Um, I know like numbers wise, I could definitely finish all the books I have currently now in May if I wanted to, but I think I'm still gonna buy like some new ones as I go and read them too. Um, so these are the ones I really want to get through in May. So Tom just wants to show you what he's reading and what his TBR looks like quickly as well. Um, so I shall show you, I shall turn you around and you can say hello to Tom. Okay, so um, I've only got a few books in my TBR at the moment and that's because unlike Sophie, where she gets stressed if she doesn't have too many books on her TBR, I get quite stressed if I do actually have too many books because then I don't know what to read. Um, so at the moment I'm reading the Circle by Dave Eggers. Um, I just finished, what was the name of the other one? Um, the Parade? The Parade by Dave Eggers, which for me is very much branching out as I only read fantasy. Um, the Parade was outstanding and it actually made me feel things, which is unusual in books. This one, if you've read it, it makes me incredibly stressed with kind of the, the work to life ratio and just the wider implications of technology, which is quite ironic seeing as we're doing this on social media, but yeah, but this is really good. And then I've got Rather Weird by Andrew Caldicott, which I saw on Goodreads and I thought could be quite good fun. And then obviously I've got the book about Somerset that we bought today from Waterstones that I'll be reading with Sophie, but I think that's the extent of the books I've got at the moment. Just what have you got on your Kindle? What have I got on my Kindle? Something about dragons. It genuinely is about dragons, I think. You know, it's the fact you said about high, high fantasy is when dragons populate the world. Yeah, so that's kind of my, my fallback just for escapism. But yeah, some good books. Yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed hearing about my TVR and a bit about Tom's TVR. Um, yeah, I really like doing these update videos. Some people don't like them because they kind of say like, what's the point if you haven't read them? But I like sharing it. I think my TBR and managing it is quite a big part of my channel. I know in comparison to um, lots of other channels, I have a really small TBR. Lots of people have t physical TBRs of like 100, 200, 300 books. Um, and I find it suits me so much better to have less. It, it doesn't stress me out when it's lo like less than 20. Um, and that's just how I prefer to do it. But I find that really interesting to share as well. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. How many books are on your TBR? Um, and what are you most excited to get to next? See you soon. Bye.